हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आकाश डायरेक्टर एंड फाउंडर ऑफ प्राइम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स अमरावती आज के इस वीडियो में हम आई आई टी जे एम एग्जाम का एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने वाले हैं क्वेश्चन है विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू ऑप्शन है एवरी सिक्वेंस दैट हैज कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस इज अ कॉची सिक्वेंस एवरी सिक्वेंस दैट हैज कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस इज अ बाउंडेड सिक्वेंस द सिक्वेंस साइन एन हैज कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस एंड ऑप्शन डी द सिक्वेंस एन कॉस वन अपॉन एन हैज अ कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस सॉल्व करते हैं कंसिडर द सिक्वेंस Clearly, one is repeated infinitely many times in this sequence in the same pattern that is in the same order. Thus, this sequence has convergent subsequence which is a constant sequence converging to one. so we have constructed a sequence that has a convergent subsequence okay let's verify one by one options option b state that every sequence that has a convergent subsequence is a bounded sequence it has a convergent subsequence but it is not a bounded sequence because th this sequence has a no upper bound so we have constructed a sequence that is not a bounded but has a convergent subsequence. so option b is false that is wrong now let's check option a option a state that every sequence that has a convergent subsequence is a cauchy sequence same example works for option a the sequence that we have constructed in option a is not bounded as seen earlier it is not it is not bounded sequence so this implies it is not convergent sequence because we know that every convergent sequence is a bounded sequence so if the sequence is not bounded then it is not convergent so this sequence is not convergent sequence also we know that a sequence of real numbers is convergent if and only if cauchy if and only if they are cauchy sequence so as it is a convert it is not a convergent sequence so this implies it is not cauchy sequence because for a sequence of real numbers cauchy if and only if convergent holds okay so it is not convergent sequence hence it is not cauchy sequence thus we have constructed a sequence that is not a cauchy sequence but has a convergent subsequence and option a state that every sequence that has a convergent subsequence must be a cauchy sequence so option a is wrong because we have found a sequence that is not a cauchy but has a convergent subsequence so a and b are wrong now let's check option c option c state that the sequence sin n has a convergent subsequence we know that the sin function takes the values between 0 and 1 so the sequence sin n is bounded sequence because the sin function takes values between 0 and 1 so this sequence is bounded sequence so by bolzano westerfeld theorem for sequences 
as it is a bounded sequence. So by Boson of Estras theorem for sequences, this implies it has convergent subsequence. Thus, option C is true. Now, the only option remaining is option D. Let's check. Option D states that the sequence n cos 1 upon n has a convergent subsequence. We show that the option D is also wrong. For this, for D, let we consider the contradiction method for option D. Let nk cos 1 upon nk be convergent subsequence of sequence n cos 1 upon n. That is, we have assumed that this sequence has a convergent subsequence and that convergent subsequence is denoted by this, the sequence nk cos 1 upon nk because any subsequence of that sequence must have this form. Okay. Now, consider the limit k tends to infinity nk cos 1 upon nk. This limit equals to limit k tends to infinity nk times limit k tends to infinity cos 1 upon nk. As nk is a subsequence of sequence n, so as k tends to infinity, nk tends to infinity. So, 1 upon nk tends to 0 and cos 0 is 1. So, as k tends to infinity, this limit becomes 1. So, this reduces to limit k tends to infinity nk which is equals to infinity that, that is which tends to infinity as k tends to infinity. Thus, we saw that this subsequence diverges to infinity as k tends to infinity. But this is a contradiction to our, to our assumption that this is a convergent subsequence of this sequence because the convergent subsequence must have finite limit but it does not have finite limit. So, so our assumption must be the wrong. So, this sequence has no convergent subsequence. So, option D is wrong. This implies D is wrong. So, answer is option C. Thank you for watching. We are starting regular classroom program for IIT Jam from 7th of August. If any one of you are interested, then please call below number. Thank you.